This two-handed sword is beastly by Scaligrim. I've got a package to open, and quite an exciting one at that, from Lancelot Shan, who has been messing with swords for probably even longer than I have. Cutting uh -huh. with them, practicing with them, reviewing them, sharpening them a lot more than I have. And in nice. fact, in the mid and late 2000s, he did a lot to inspire me to get into sparring to begin with. Anyway, let's see what's inside. That was really smooth, actually. Ooh, that was smooth. Box, too. My deck stat is garbage. I couldn't do that. That that's thick. I see your package there, good sir. Mm. Somebody commented recently about uh, was talking recently about a uh, tip play with rapiers. Oh, Kip, that sounds so lewd. I'm like, you clearly haven't read like Shakespeare. <laughs> you haven't heard a lot of that stuff. Oh my god. Not definitely not say so. <laughs> that is really heavy. Oh no, my arch nemesis, Ugh. Styrofoam. I hate the sound it makes. I hate okay, Styrofoam. Or am I? Oh god, yes, am yes, I? oh, Maybe. yes. Ooh. Oh god, that's that's hot. Oh god, it's gonna get censored. It's gonna get banned. Oh, it's so sexy, dude. Oh, look at it. It's so good. That's why it's called the Red Baron. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, that, damn, oh, that that's draw, a wide though. blade. They build them thick. <laughs> oh, oh god. That is a chunky one. I'm jealous. Hell that, yeah. That leverage, my dude. It oh. feels extremely light for the size. You would not believe it. The weight distribution looks absolutely amazing. The amount of leverage that has. Oh, it's perfect. The very wide, thick blade. Oh, it's so good. Scalagrim, you legend. That's pretty this. much single-handed sword territory. Even just yeah. looking at that, I can see that it wants to destroy things. Yes. It wants to separate them in ver into very neat halves. So that right there is the legendary Lancelot Sharp. <laughs> Damn. What? Yeah. Now that's a comfortable grip. Yeah. Very comfortable indeed. When are we getting the Scaligram only fans with videos of uh like just drawing swords or like membership on the Scaligram channel, right? Where we just get videos of just drawing the sword and doing stuff like that, right? Just 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 putting that out there, right? Just just putting that out there. So uh, you know, there might be a market for that. <laughs> This thing wants to move. The more strongly a, a blade tapers in profile, the further down you have to cut. Simply because you, you're losing that much mass. Right, yeah. Losing mass? What's that? Now, doesn't that sound like an unintentional <laughs> self own right there? The guard Conservation is of mass, yeah. extremely tightly fitted. Oh, that's a nice pommel too, actually. Normally, I prefer sense stopper pommels. Because this kind, I do like kind of stoppers. limits They're good. how you can position My long your hand. Sword has one. But that doesn't matter here because you don't want to hold it that far apart anyway. It's probably more like this. Yeah, that feels about right. Oh, it looks and the feels and pulls so right, good. It's, it's really not heavy. So What is it awesome. made of? Thanks I'm again. assuming steel. This is awesome. Lancelot also sent me some of his targets because I can't find polypropylene in pipe locally, which is what simulates bone and the newspaper gets soaked for half an hour to simulate flesh. Huh. Starting out with a That's forearm cool. sized target. That's so cool though. I love that. That's actually now, really cool. Now call that cut with a step in and not overreaching. The step in just transfers That'll more do. force. That was a very steep cut. All right, now I'm gonna try a cut from a faint. All righty, this play good. definitely makes it easier. And it's so large, but at the same time, it's so quick, you can easily do this kind of thing. I feel like the, even though it's lightweight, I feel like the mass of the blade allows it to follow through pretty well. I'd be very curious on somebody's thoughts and take on that, but that, that, that is some, some gorgeous sword play. Gonna need some precision. I it does seem like a pretty reasonable, cheap stand-in for bone. Yeah. It's 
If it works, it works, right? Realistic. Even dead bone isn't, but yeah, the way it can be cut, but it also fractures. Yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, for the price point, though, too, as well, right? I mean, that's also going to be one. Oh, my God. These are actually affordable. No. No, please. I don't need another sword right now. See how it compares to two other swords. The only katana I currently have, which, of course, many people hold up as the gold standard for cutting. This one's made. Uh, Cult of Athena, I've ordered from a couple times. They're pretty good. I actually need to order a gorget because mine is kind of choking me in my armor right now, which leads to very interesting interactions of getting hit in armor while being deprived for air. And I'm just like very confused because of all these sensory things happening. It's very funny. By Hanwei and a Shamshir made by LK Chen, which is pretty much the best single handed cutting sword I've tested so far, or at least in the top three. This is not the best katana I've tried, but it's also far from the worst. If it functions, and, uh, right? Just to matters. show you their sharpness, the oh, Shamshir. Yes! Is Slice also that sharp. paper! This here is meant to simulate an upper arm. The soaked newspaper is fairly dense, but has a decent amount of give. There's some give to it, yeah. And uh, of course, never would have thought. So newspaper. For never the sake of thought. comparison, I want to be as consistent as possible. So I'm going to set up in a very rigid stance, nice and stable, and really hone in. Try to keep the edge alignment as good as possible. Uh -huh. All right, makes sense. Measure twice, <laughs> cut once. I just cut right through. It didn't it. look great. too impressive, but was actually pretty good. Uh, so the cut, I don't really see anything. Don't katana notoriously have issue with bone though? Like they're good. They're scalpels. They are great at what they do. But as far as I'm worried, I think they have issue trying to cut through bone. I, I could also be wrong though. I open this up for discussion, especially those from SCA Hema, etc. Um, I've never personally dealt with any. I mean, I have the Boken, right? I have the Boken so I can do the funny Xenos meme in my armor, right? Test your reflexes. But other than that, I mean, I haven't really had to actually deal with any live steel uh, katana. So the uh, the cutting profile on it and what it can and can't do reliably is very fascinating to me. What's really wrong with the edge alignment? Seems fairly consistent. Maybe a slight deviation toward the end there. And it looks like it got almost all the way through the core. Wow. Okay. So unless there's armor involved, this would be more than enough to be debilitating right, in yes. historical combat. Nice. Definitely, once again, enough. I think this is where it happened, because it was a, a clean cut. Okay, yeah, you can see. It was a clean cut up to this point. Right, and, and then it must have been scooped and then it tore more than that's it still pretty clean at though. the end that's what knocked it over okay now the same thing with the shamshir this thing is dirty i love it look at that that is oh that curve oh it's... right that's a bit more messy in fact i'm not even really sure what happened when cutting with a katana, I often have to remind myself to be closer because it has less reach than most long swords. Yeah. This is a lot worse. Normally, I would want to be about here. You are but close if quarters I with cut this thing. There and then follow all the way through. It hits pretty high up on the blade, where it becomes narrow and just doesn't cut very well. So I need to be really close. Good hit. I couldn't use this weapon. The sword would give me, just, I, I couldn't do it. Some of you may object to the stand falling over and might think I should weigh it down, but really, if it falls over, it's not a good cut. The main challenge here is yeah, not having the other hand to help control the edge alignment. You have to do everything with just one hand. Right, it's it's a test of your dexterity. Like if, if you cut it right, it will not fall over. But if you mess up the cut and it ends up being a more forceful like, you know, kind of slice, right, where you're having to enforce it, the stand is going to fall over. I actually really agree with that, and I think that's a good thing to point out. Like, thank you, Scalagrim, for pointing that out. I had not considered that, actually, but that makes a lot of sense. I wonder what a Gladius would be like cutting through this. 
It's a brick on a handle. Definitely enough to do significant damage, but not all the way, so not terribly satisfying. Okay, back to the katana. All right. Yeah, that was bit significantly forceful. easier. Bit forceful, but it did work. The edge alignment was not amazing. It's good enough. You can just tell that it helps out a little bit more yeah. because the other hand is involved. Okay, this is the thigh target, which is quite chunky, as you can tell. Six. Oh no, I didn't get it on slow-mo. Ah. Here you can see what makes the PPR pipe realistic. So you can cut it fairly cleanly, but uh -huh. it also fractures. Right. And sometimes it's a combination of both. I like that it does both. That That's actually super scooping. cool. It's very cool as a target. I need to practice more. I've gotten rusty. Obviously, I don't expect to do better with one hand, but we'll see. Yeah, too forceful. If you know uh, when he does it and he's catching we'll it on the slow motion, right? He hits it, he hits it, and then uh, the kinetic force, it, it's no longer a slice, it's more of a strike, and the kinetic force is carrying through to knock it over. Very good initial cut, though. I I, I don't know where to hit with this yeah, kind of blade. Yeah, edge alignment isn't that great, even with a two-handed sword, and single-handed aggravates that. Just look at that. That's terrible. <laughs> but this kind of thing would, of course, happen in historical combat, you know, on the battlefield or even in a duel when the adrenaline is pumping, you're not gonna get 100% flawless edge alignment. On I've been debating on getting a GoPro. I didn't know they actually had this kind of quality. As somebody who's having uh, just vast issues with audio on my camera and some of the mics I have, like, honestly, I'm loving the quality on it. Little, you could probably mess with some of the saturation a little bit, but I mean, really, it works. Unless you're really a master and have practiced a lot. Okay, let's see what the Red Baron has to say about all this. That was clean. Look at that. Look at that leverage. The leverage just follows through on that cut. It made it much easier. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm loving this. He's, he's uh, pulling that pommel back while the blade's going forward too. Very good form. Yep, that's a little better. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. I do not like this side. Oh, very clean. I say right before delivering the best cut of the day. Very clean. Twisted his body going into it, leaning into it. If I hadn't done the other cuts before, I could now have said, well, this is my weak side, guys. <laughs> no big deal, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> Slow-mo camera is basically out of battery, so just one more quick cut. Uh, quick means bad, generally. <laughs> still, well, pretty, still pretty clean, actually. Very clean cut. Followed through, yeah. No, no real deviation there. <laughs> that one was kind of a strike. Yikes. Yeah, so this is why I used PEX pipe for the stand rather than metal. <laughs> yeah. um, sort of would not appreciate damn, that. Look at that. God damn, that's, that's good. That's a lot of material. That's a lot of damage. I was damage. convinced that these PEX pipes would not make for a good target because they are way too thick. But now I realize, hey. Maybe not. You do have leverage on it, though, is the thing, right? It might be a thicker target, but you do have leverage with this that you don't on the others, right? Um, and the way that you're cutting and following through so cleanly, you're pulling back on that, uh, on the grip, you know, pommel towards you, rotating your uh, blade in, rotating your body into that. That's a lot of force behind that strike, and I'm really liking that. But, so I could see I this. Mean, they're actually not that much thicker than the PPR pipe. It's just such a weirdly large diameter, you know? But, uh, damn, yeah. not what I intended. But it works. But it shows what a beast this sword is. It just works. I guess I'll try one more. Hopefully I won't cut the pex pipe again. Not that it's a big deal if I do, but I'd rather not, you know? <laughs> that was nice. I would assume there's different techniques to sharpen oh, yeah. different swords. Like I have to look into sharpening my Jack Krauser knife. Look at that. Very it clean. Was, it was pushed out a little bit, but when you flatten it. I love it. 
Yeah, that was a good horizontal That's cut. That's about as clean as it gets. Yeah. Is this really my weak side? <laughs> the sword of Rex. I'm just, it's so sexy. I love it. I will have to look into one of these. Oh, that grip is going to feel so good, too. Oh, I can feel that texture. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, my God. That was eye candy. That whole thing was just eye candy. And I absolutely loved that. Oh, my God. That was a treat all the way through. I mean, that functions more similar to a longsword than it does other things, right? Whereas a katana, it's going to want to move and cut in a different way than it's going to want to uh, move and cut than, say, a falchion uh, or the other blade he had presented, which I forget the name of offhand currently, right? Path of the blade, how a blade wants to cut, how it functions is inherently different. That hits the right spots for me because that does uh, mimic the longsword uh, as someone that plays SCA rapier, right? Somebody plays SCA with a uh, longsword in the rapier format. I'm definitely at a disadvantage, but you know what? I like it. I like longsword. I like doing longsword things. And uh, sometimes I can outreach an opponent. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just shoot straight through the middle. But uh, that would be an easy transition from your standard longsword, in my opinion. The grip looks like it feels really good. I actually like the pommel on that as well. Uh, lack of dedicated, quote unquote, keyons, right? You know, people are usually similar to the cross pattern, right? The two keyons sticking out. Think like the Master Sword, how it's got the wings. Now, sword from Zelda. I like that that was a ring. Uh, somebody that is currently using a long sword for SCA that has a ring uh, along with Keons. Uh, I think that the ring actually stops a lot. Sometimes you get the odd shot where you'll shoot and somebody goes through those rings and that's where you just call hold, right? Call hold, dis disentangle yourself, right? Those kind of things. But honestly, that wasn't... That's not good. I, sorry, that's not bad. Uh, the taper at the edge kind of threw me off a little bit. And so... Yeah, I think you're cutting a little lower on your blade, so not as as high up. They, you know, you're not doing the tip cuts necessarily, but that was very, very good to watch, and that was just an absolute treat. Eye candy all the way through. If you want more fun stuff like that, go check out Scalagram. By the way, <laughs> I do SCA stuff, but I'm kept busy with uh, some React content things and uh, things like you know Destiny and stuff, which unfortunately I haven't had to edit, I haven't had the time to really edit some. Uh, sword play footage. I'll have some shorts up for you pretty soon, and I'll see how they do. If more people want it, I can definitely oblige for sword fights. Uh, I used a Wubby recently. The uh, green military blanket, the Wubby. Uh, I used that for uh, for uh, cloak and sword. Right, use it as a cloak effectively in my offhand. That actually took W's. It is so heavy, and it's kind of like you can't really cast it because you commit to the cast, right? But it's very... It's so cool. It's very good. It's very thick. If you know how to use it or you're using it kind of like a pseudo like veil slash shield kind of thing, like you can tangle up a blade very, very easily. It is very heavy, though, but the Wubby was taking W's. Thank you, Scalagrim, for an excellent video. I do know this was shorter than uh, some of my other ones. I want to just let you know you're doing an amazing job on YouTube, that you just are someone that I look up to in regards to uh, wanting to do more sword content things, more sword combat things, and honestly have been a driving force for me to get back into the SCA instead of, you know, doing rat content every single day <laughs> i hope that you're doing well i hope that uh, you're doing better i know earlier this year we uh you know wasn't necessarily a fun time for you and uh i'm wishing you nothing but the best keep on uh, being legendary out there and uh if you're interested in more sword fighting things or kip sword fighting things uh or questions um definitely let me know i know the sca locally has been just an absolute treat to deal with and uh, we play out in the barony of iron hold out in idaho um those that know where that is hi <laughs> you know exactly where that is but um yeah i'd be more than happy to do things or i can you know kind of corral and bully the sa into uh into doing some stuff let me know in the comment section down below thank you for watching see you in the next one